Hello everyone, Dave here back with another video, another review, as we are in the review corner, uh, of course. Uh, and today, we're going to be taking a look at Attack on Titan, No Regrets. And much like a No Regrets tattoo, this is something that you get, because it sounds cool on paper. And then 20 years later, you look at it and you're like, why the hell do I have this? This is so stupid, and I hate it so much. Obviously, a little embellishment there on my part. I apologize. Um, because this really isn't that bad of a two-volume series. But it's a little kind of... Eh. Like, it's it's okay. Um, Let me touch on... I'm going to first touch on the stuff that I don't like about it. Because, to be fair, the things that I don't like about no regrets are pretty small like it's a small list but the but those things i feel like kind of weigh heavy on it and they add a lot to the old mm, not feeling it kind of aspect um it's boring it's very boring i read this uh back when i got it a few years ago and i reread it in preparation for this review and it took me, it's only two volumes, and I am a slow reader, but this still took me a minute to finish, because I was bored doing, I was bored reading it, and and I guess maybe because I knew what was happening, like, so, you know, nothing was new to me, because I had already read it, but even when I had initially read this a few years ago, I'm, like, sitting there, kind of, like, okay when is you know is something gonna oh, okay that's kind of cool that happened yeah okay neat and then you know it's just kind of it kind of weighs he a little heavy and another thing that i don't necessarily think i can blame the manga itself for but this is a prequel and obviously it's very difficult uh, uh well not just difficult it's impossible to go back and change something that's already been written or already made. So, you know, you can't obviously go back and change um, bits and pieces of Attack on Titan to fit um, what this story, you know, says or explains. But it is kind of odd that some of this stuff in this story just kind of, like, it feels a little weird, you know, like... Levi, this this story is a lot about Levi and Ervin and how they kind of met their history before joining the scouts and, and joining the, you know, the military and stuff. But like, you know, you read this and you're like, there's no way Levi would have joined the scouts. Like I get, and again, I don't want to spoil anything because I like to, you know, leave my reviews with, uh, you know, you know, leave something to the imagination, so if you take my thoughts and, and want to give whatever I'm talking about a, sh a shot, there still is a reason to do that, I'm not just going to sit here and explain every little thing, but by the end of it, I was like, okay, I see why on paper Levi would have joined the Scouts, but like, his character does not lend well to that sort of lifestyle, at least in the beginning, so it's like, how did we get here, and I don't think the book does a you like a super great job at explaining that it's just kind of like levi's this character and then all of a sudden he's not and it's like oh he's this scout guy he's super good and cool and stuff and and well yeah levi's a cool character and i i don't dislike him but i just i feel like the 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 i feel like no regrets could have done a little bit of a better job explaining what exactly led levi to be this um, you know, him and his homies growing up in this kind of slums area, um, he initially steals the, um, um, what the fuck is it called again? I forget the, the ODS gear, isn't that what it's called? Something like that, I don't, I don't remember. Um, but he initially steals that, and then they track him down, and, you know, then it kind of leads to, like, hey, you gotta repay us, whatever, but it's like, you know, that doesn't really... I don't know, I feel like it kind of conflicts with this character, and, and, and I get that they were trying to tell a story of like, oh, Levi was this completely different guy, and then he changed and became, you know, who we know and love in Attack on Titan, 
But again, I just don't think the, the book does a good enough job of actually explaining why. I mean, anyone who's read No Regrets is like, Dave, it's because of this reason. And I, I don't want to explain that because it's kind of a bit of a spoiler. Um, but I still don't really feel like that reason was that good. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But like, if that happened and I'd be like, dang... Like, if anything, it would make me not want to be a scout more. Because it's like, oh, this is what's going to happen if I join the scouts? No, thank you. Like, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, so it's a little boring. And I don't think it does a very good job of explaining, um, you know, the connections between the, the history of these characters to Attack on Titan. And those two things, even though it's only two th specific grievances I have, they kind of leave a lot to be desired with this manga. But, again, I, I know I made my silly little comparison in the beginning, but it's really not that bad. It's just kind of bland. It's kind of a little eh. Um, so now let me touch on a, f a few things that I actually do really enjoy about this manga. For one... Um, you know, regardless of how I feel about it, it is super interesting to see younger versions of these characters. And you get not just Levi and Ervin, but you get a lot of other characters that we know from Attack on Titan, um, you know, shown in this different light, uh, different light, sorry. Uh, they're a little more naive. They're, you know, new to this whole threat um, in the grand scheme of things. You know, you see them in these different scenarios and and you look at how they act, and it's like, oh, this is a little different from what we've seen um, before. So we can see that, you know, even again, even though I feel like the book doesn't explain it that well, there still is growth here. Um, you know, so that's very interesting. Um, I think the whole... Um, I don't want to say political, because there's not like a whole lot of politics involved, but I think the aspect of these characters there's a lot of talking which can lead to the boredom but sometimes they talk about stuff that's actually very interesting at least to me um them kind of, kind of discussing these threats and discussing like you know how are we going to deal with this i guess on a more military like strategic level it makes it feel like a almost like a military film well it's not a film but it makes it feel like a military story and not like a um action story if that makes any sense like there's a lot there there's some aspects of it where they're just kind of discussing like oh what do we do how do we solve this problem blah 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 you know i find that to be kind of interesting it, it gives it this very like you know kind of a more grounded feel um yeah so uh what else did i want to talk about i mean it's still attack on titan it's still got some good action in there um again seeing younger versions of these characters is always interesting um, you know, I, I feel like, I mean, Ervin and Levi are both fan favorite characters, so if you're a big Attack on Titan fan, I, I think you would get something out of it. I mean, if you're a big Attack on Titan fan, I feel like you probably have already read No Regrets, but just on the off chance that you haven't, um, you know, I, I'm not the hugest Attack on Titan fan. I don't dislike it. It's a series that I really want to like. But it's a series that also is, like, really good and then sucks. And then it's like, oh, that's kind of interesting and then sucks. Like, it's just, it's kind of all over the place for me. But I, it is something that I do find a lot of interest in. And, you know, something that I do enjoy the themes of. And I do enjoy the the property. And I enjoy the, um, the you know, the settings and the stories. Um so, you know, I'm I'm kind of a guy who's very on the fence when it comes to Attack on Titan. So, for me, this extra story was like, okay, because it was like, you know, it didn't really appeal to me. But if you're somebody that, that really loves Attack on Titan and really loves these characters, you'll probably find some good stuff out of it. And also, again, it's not a huge commitment. It's two volumes. It was a huge commitment for me because I found it kind of a chore to read through. But... It is cool. It is good. Um, you know, for, for those who like it. Uh, again, um, it was okay. Honestly, at the end of the day, for me, it was alright. 
Uh, there are some good stuff about it, like I mentioned, but there are a few things that I didn't like, and those things weighed a little heavy for me. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that was Attack on Titan, No Regrets. Um, I, I hope... I feel like I come out of every review that I do um, being like, wow, I didn't really say anything, but I said, but I still talked for 10, 20 minutes. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just like to try to express my thoughts and how I feel about a certain property um, without really going too heavy into spoiler territory. Because like I said, I want you guys to be able to take something from my videos and, you know, if... Uh, if you hear what I say and think, eh, that's not for me, then that's fine. Uh, or if you hear, you know, listen to my video and say, oh, maybe I'll give this a shot. You know, I didn't sit here and explain the entire thing to you. So there's still something to take from No Regrets if that's something you're interested in. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, with the long weekend, uh, Memorial Day, by the way, happy Memorial Day to everybody. Uh, hope you enjoy the long weekend. Hope you, you know, have a good time. Um, hope you're safe, healthy, everything like that. Um, but with the long weekend, I plan to get a couple videos uh, recorded so we can, we can you know, keep pumping out some content. So, uh, appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.